Hi everyone, we're out in the garden again. We've got to finish this frame off for the poly tunnel so that we can cover it over and put the sheet over tomorrow. That's what I'm going to do now. Right, well as you know, the uh, moped's now finished. The uh, Direct Bikes moped, that's gone to its new owner, so that's out of the way now. I just want to finish off this poly tunnel now. So I've got a bit more woodwork to do at the front and a couple of strengthening bits to put at the back there. So let's get on and make a start. Right, so what I've basically done is to span the actual opening area there and clamp it in place with just a bit of batting. This is only for a marker. And what I've done is measure from here to the, the other pillar there to find the middle spot, which is there. And then what I've done there is measure either side of that 15 inches. That will give me my 30 inch gap. Right, there we go, that's the two verticals in. I'm just gonna put the cross brace along the top and then I'll stamp on the filling them bottle trunk rungs and then get the support brackets in uh, between the actual pillars and the side. And then that's basically it. We're ready for the uh, cover to go on, which will be tomorrow because I've got no help today. members in so I'm just now going to put the final support brackets across either side of the doorways this one and the one down there and then we're ready for the polythene once I get the last bit of skirting along the bottom of this one there we go all done all the woodworks now done <coughs> I did put two strengthening brackets on this one this side that's because I forgot that I was going to put the skirting board on so I didn't really need to do it so I didn't do it down the other end but all in all everything's as it should be now and all I've got to do tomorrow now is just literally get the cover over and I've got all the battens for going around the edge now and obviously that's more than the one person job so I'm hoping Gary and uh, possibly Jimmy will give us a hand when we come to get the actual cover on so anyway I'm going to pack up for tonight that's going to I'll see you tomorrow right it's now Sunday it's time to put the cover on the poly tunnel. Right, I've got Gary and Jimmy here, and what we're going to do now is obviously, just before we, we actually put the cover on, there's a few little things we've got to do. 
I've got to get the uh, hot spot tape and put that over the uh, poles to protect the chafing of the plastic when the wind blows it about and uh, that's what we're going to do now. Right we've just put the hot spot tape over the top so we're going to go get the sheet now and sling it over and start fixing it. Okay, we've just got this end door and end panel to sort out now. As you can see, it's okay, it's not bad. A few wrinkles in it and a little bit saggy in places, but this is the inside of the polytunnel. And I must say, it's blinking warm in here, so it's going to be okay. We're lucky enough, we ain't got any rips in it, but, um, you know, it's, it's pretty much okay. I'm happy with it anyway, it's going to be uh, ideal for what we need it for. So all that we've got to do then afterwards is just literally just level all this earth off and I've got a membrane to go down here uh, to stop the weeds coming through and literally finish off by making the two doors. I'm going to have two half doors. Uh, the reason for that obviously is because it can get very very hot in here and um, if I have, have full length doors and leave the doors open the dogs can come in and might do some damage so by shutting the bottom half and being able to open the top half either end you're going to get a free flow of air through so that's what we're going to do well okay we're just going to carry on now and we're going to finish off this door and we'll see you at the end of it right there we go that's that doorway finished right it's so half past two now on a Sunday afternoon I think we've done enough today so we're all going to go down to the seaside because it's a lovely day outside and I'll just finish up these little uh, odds and ends tomorrow which is Monday morning uh, as you can probably see there that end door is a lot more tighter uh, we've obviously done it a slightly different technique than this door as you can see so tomorrow I'll work on these wrinkles to get these wrinkles out and getting it looking like that one so not quite the final installment as I say because I've got to build the doors yet and I'm going to do two half doors so that we can open the top and let air flow through and keep the bottom door shut so that the dogs can't run in and out so that's what I'm going to be doing but that's not today as I say we're going to the seaside now well I hope you've enjoyed this polytunnel experience what we've done here it's our first time of doing it we made some mistakes along the way but all in all it's a workable polytunnel now and once I've leveled the ground off here and put the ground sheet down we'll be starting growing stuff now but I can put some stuff in here now and it's protected so and it's bleaking warm in here anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video see you in the next one thanks for now and bye bye